It's a rainy Monday. Day two in the Mountains to Sea Trail. I just got finished hiking through a thunderstorm. Up on the peaks. Now the sun has come out. For now. <laughs> and found some mushrooms. I think it's Dryad Saddle. Day three, the second section of Mountains to Sea Trail. We're going through a nice big spruce forest. No Bigfoots yet. If you see bags under my eyes, it's because it was a dark and stormy night. Didn't get much sleep. One thunderstorm. After another rolled over, complete with lightning, of course. At 6,000 feet, elevation is a little bit disturbing. But my bright side, my drip lines worked, <laughs> although I did get up in the middle of the night and add some to it. I added a handkerchief. And one of my gators <laughs> worked good. So today we're headed to Mount Mitchell, the highest mountain east of the Mississippi. Higher even than Clingman's Dome. It's not supposed to rain till tonight. I hope it doesn't. It's stormed on me every day for three days so far. But I guess it's better that than snowy, blowy winds. And Sub zero temperature up here, 5,000 feet. I bought a new gimbal, but I'm afraid to use it because you're not supposed to get it wet. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Big foot's in here. Goodness. 
So now, in fact, they like to hide in the fog, in the spruce forests. Sun finally came out. And relatively level, couldn't hardly believe it. It's like an old road bed. I had to keep check checking and make sure I was still on the right trail. So I know you're all wondering what the duck of the day is going to be. Or the duck of the trail. So I've been doing some steadying and I think I might have a good chance this trip of seeing the tufted duck. Now it's not your everyday ordinary duck. It's a diving duck. Now they like to dive in shallow streams and ponds for mussels. That's their favorite food. And the males are black and white, the tuft on their head, and got like a blue-gray bill. Of course, the females are of a pretty mottled brown color, and they have the blue-gray bill as well. So after I get down a little lower elevation, there's going to be a bunch of creeks and even some rivers to cross, so maybe we'll see them. This is my new half-wit hammock from Dutchware Gear. For us half-wits that don't want the weight of a full bug net, got half a bug net. <laughs> it actually works really good. It's cool enough in the mountains that my legs are covered with the top quilt. See, there's a bug right there. I don't know, I like it. It's a little bit more comfortable than my other one. A little bit bigger, I think. Here's the view from the inside. <laughs> my own little bug free zone. The only drawback is I can't reach my bear spray. <laughs> this is my view for this morning. Had a morning shower. 
while I drank my coffee. Another spooky forest. Wait, is that a Bigfoot over there? It's a dark and stormy afternoon. It's like nighttime. I'm so glad I'm not on top of Mount Mitchell. I just got pelted with hail. It was bigger than that too. That's melted. That was awful. I hope I don't go through any more storms like that anytime soon. I survived the storm. It's day five. The mountains to sea trail. And I'm exhausted. It stormed on me. All five of those days. Remember when I said I'd take the rain over the snow? I think I'd rather take the rain. I'm gonna retract that statement. Not when it involves 50 mile an hour winds and hail, thunder and lightning. No, thank you.
At least the trail's gotten a lot easier since yesterday afternoon after the hail incident. Should be no more high elevation now. I'm going to be crossing a lot of creeks the next five days. Maybe I'll see that duck. <laughs> so anyway, for today, I'm going to go into Marion, pick up my package at the post office, get back on the trail. Still a chance of rain today, but after that, it should be good until the last day of Tuesday. So, not that my feet are going to dry out because I'm going to have all them creeks to cross. Ten days of wet feet. <laughs> I think they might start to grow moss. That's what I was afraid the tree I tied my hammock to was going to do last night. <laughs> it was a little bit rotten in the middle. But it was my only choice. sunshine. Maybe the stars will come out and I can get some sleep tonight. I'm so tired. I just stopped and washed my hair. I'm ashamed to admit that it's been six days. <laughs> That's not counting all the showers I got every day. sun's out. It was a little bit cloudy this morning. Got me a little worried.
It's a bear trap, y'all. And another one. Oh. He's going the same way I am. I just discovered it went way off trail. <sighs> Crapazoids. At least I got to see a bear track. Oh, there it is. I think that log's supposed to indicate that you turn. <laughs> well, it's an extra half mile to my 120 miles. I can't even blame the bear track because I didn't see the track until after that. I thought maybe seeing it got me all discombobulated, but <laughs> nope. Something tells me I'm going to be going up there, way up there. <sighs> In the scorching sun. But hey, I'll take scorching sun any day. It's okay. I'll take it. I like it. Seven, the mountains to sea trail. Actually, some real sunshine in my eyes. <laughs> Got three more days. Now I've finished 120 miles and a half. You know, that extra half. I'm sorry there hasn't been more creative filming on my part, but I've been too busy trying to avoid catastrophic events and just basically stay alive. Between thunderstorms every day, lightning, hail, high wind, 6,000 feet elevation. This trail's a beast. And the weather that goes along with it. It makes my training video that I did. Rem Trail and Chunky Gal. Child's play. This Mountains to Sea Trail. It's college level stuff. A lot of technical stuff. Do I hang my hammock on this tree even though I know it's rotten in the center? And you ask yourself, do I have a choice? But anyway, today 
sunny, it's beautiful. I'm going to be going through the Linville River Gorge. It's also a wilderness area. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way through there, but I'll try. The thing I'm worried about, I have to cross the Linville River. Usually, in a drought, the river's like shin deep. <laughs> there hasn't been no drought lately. So I don't know. There's an alternative route about two miles out, out of the way to get on a road and take a bridge. But, man, I don't know. Another one of those technical choices you gotta make. Could be life or death. <laughs> of course, I don't know if a tufted duck likes rivers, but I think it's a wide, slow moving river. I keep my eye peeled for it. so peaceful. I think I see the tufted duck. Until the unthinkable happened. I just used this rope. Looks a little slippery right there. Help! I can't shake the feeling that I'm being followed. Yesterday I passed some people camped by the forest road, and sketchy looking.